Oh. Okay. <laughs> okay, we can do it this way. Sure! Nice one! Whoa! G'day, this is Shay, and welcome back to Conan Exiles. I've been busy, and I waited three days for the rain to stop because it's a little bit distracting with all this noise and light. Um, but unfortunately, can't wait any, long wait any longer. Oh, there we go. So I'm here to show off my new base. I think in the last episode, I showed you a little bit of what I'd done. Come inside and see my new base. I'll just show you the outside because I was pretty impressed. I've been trying for so long to figure out the circles and how to do a circle building and I connected it there with a little strip. And so there's a bigger round building and a smaller round building there. And I finally figured it out. But I do have a problem because there's only a certain amount of triangles that you can have that the roof fits. Ugh, it was really frustrating. I figured only figured this out because the top there, I don't like it at the moment. I think it looks a little bit blocky. I wanna try and maybe, oh look, the gods have answered my prayers. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> the weather has cleared only after I start recording. Um, yeah, so I don't like the top of the building at all. I couldn't put a roof on it. So at the moment it's just a flat surface and I could tear it all down, but what I've done with the design for that part of the building, I really want to keep. So let's go in and have a look. We'll start with this area first. So as you know, I'm not much of a builder, but I'm learning. <laughs> so in here, the bag is still there because we can't pick up this, it's, one piece of soup, which I dearly love, but the game crashes whenever you try and take things out of bags. So in here is the kitchen. I've got a couple of stoves with cook cooking thralls or cook thrall cooks. And then out here I've got, this is the workshop. Most of the workshoppy things I put on this side. And I did have storage on this side, but then I pulled it all down. And did, well, it's not really a cute little trick, but these chests side by side, that's lots and lots of storage and I intend to get lots and lots of things, but right now, because I've doing, been doing so much building, <laughs> there's not much there. So anyway, this is the artisan's work table. I've been making lots of decorative things because I've got some decorating to do. Let me just put a couple of these things in my inventory because we don't need these in here, do we? No, because we're gonna go upstairs and decorate, but I don't know how it's gonna look. So we're gonna see, hang on, where's, there's, a, there's the bed. I knew there was a bed. And up here we've got lights. Look, I made wall lanterns and they're so pretty. Let me show you. Look out here. I always wanted to make a wall lantern, but you needed um, crystal. At the time I didn't have crystal. So isn't that adorable? I just think that's so Unconian-like, but it's in the game. So I'm totally gonna have it. <laughs> so I gave a whole bunch. I made a whole bunch. Um, so in here, this is like a little elevator. And we're going upstairs. And this is why I was reluctant to tear down my upstairs area. And the reason why it doesn't work with a roof on it. Whoa, whoa, hang on, hang on. <laughs> reason it doesn't work with a roof on it is because you need the square bits here to be able to make the roofs. Um, yeah, if you don't get that, don't worry about it. But anyway, this is the area upstairs. At the moment, the light is amazing because it's daytime, but at nighttime, the light sucks. And also, look, I can pull that down for more privacy. So the elevator, or if my friends want to come up when I'm up here, I can send it down to pick them up or <laughs> whatever. Friends? What friends? I don't have friends. So anyway, um, I thought I've never actually had much luck with putting the double bed down and respawning at it. I'm not sure if that's a thing. So I thought I'd put one of these beds down too. And also I've got some privacy, a pretty little table, all sorts of things. It's very exciting, all these decorative things. I was actually thinking of putting maybe a wall across here, along this line just here maybe, and having it closed off. So this can be, oh my gosh, the rain is back. Doesn't take long, does it? Um, and so having like the bed, whoa, hang on a second. Having the bed here. It's very big, isn't it? Here we go. Having a bed here. Yeah, that looks okay. I don't know about the windows behind it. I don't know about that. Maybe, maybe I should put those kind of windows, these windows up there and this window down here. I'm not sure. Anyway, so, and then we've got these, which can go across here to, to give more privacy. Um, this side or this side? 
I might want to put it this side so that I can... Uh, I don't know. <laughs> They're just pretty! Did it go? No. Go! Place! There we go. I think it suits this decor more than the black ice one, which is the last time that I put this down and a couple of episodes back I, for the for it first came out. But um, I, I like this. Kind of suits it better. I don't know. And then we've got this beautiful table. Oh my gosh, that's huge! <laughs> Didn't realize it was so big. Okay, let's... Wait, where's the door? Where are you, door? Door? There you are. Maybe we'll put it near the door. So over here. I don't want to do too much decorating because I've got a mission to go on. But I thought it would be kind of cool to just see what I've done. Have a look at some of these decorative pieces. Um, here. Oh my gosh. They are like so unbelievably pretty. Look at them. It's a new type of decor. It's not really new. It's been here for ages. But anyway. Alright. So... What else did I have? Something else. I had a bunch of these pillows um, and that and that. Oh, I can't put those down because I've got no room down here. I do want to put that bed down somewhere different because I don't know how efficient spawning in that bed is. So this is going to be like a, you know how they have those chairs back in the golden days? You know, they have the chairs that they would just lie on. That's kind of what this is going to be. But it's also going to be my spawn location. I do have a bed downstairs. Actually, that does not work. Um, it needs to be not against that wall because it's not flush. Does that make sense? Ah, stick around that way. Okay, there we go. Mm -mm -mm. Boop. There we go. Pretty. And one of these? Um, maybe not there. I don't know. I d because I put windows here, now nothing goes there. Oh wait, no, there's, there's nothing here, so this is good. We can put this one here. And then, put those here. Wait. Why does that have a different block there? It looks slightly different. I guess it's kind of good. Right, so there's one there, one there, and one here. And I've got some more decorative. Oh, the rain! You're in you cleared for five seconds and it was great! And then now you're gone again and everything's wet. That's there. And then we're going to have some pillows on the floor. I like that blue one. Hey! They are pretty awesome looking. I really like them. Pillows. I wanted to use them more, but oh, that's like a little flower. I wanted to use them more, but because they use so much um, silk and they're just for decorative, I haven't really done it. I haven't really used them much, but I, they're so pretty! Okay, how big is this one? This banner. It's big. But it's good big. We could put it like here. That's cool. Does it? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Actually, no. If you're going to flow in the wind and go through my wall, that's just kind of creepy. Um, and then we have one of these a teapot. Six. Stick the pea teapot in the middle. There. That's cool. That's a start, anyway. That's a start. And one here. I like that. That needs another one there. I don't know. I don't know. Alright, so we decorate a little bit upstairs. I'm happy with this. Um, we, we just got to put, where's the other one of these? It's way over there. Let's put one here. And one here. It's going to look amazing at night time. And one here. Okay. Cool. I haven't got anything on the middle of these. I like, I like some more wall hanging items. Not just weapons. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> that's one of this maybe not so good. I've now got to pull it again. No, okay. Oh, you see it is. Here, pull it again. <laughs> so it comes up for me. Why did I put two there? I don't even remember. Oh well. It's all good. All right, it stopped raining again. This is great. Okay, let's. I'm just gonna put these back. 
as you can see I've got so much decorative stuff so we're gonna get on to that possibly at the end of the episode I'm not sure but I wanted to do a couple of things beforehand um I'm interested in making wait no I can't make it here it's in here the blacksmith's bench we have this amazing stuff acaronian weapons and tools yeah so there's an acaronian longsword acaronian pick a sickle a war axe I think there might even be a cleaver but I might not have unlocked it because I was concerned about how much um how many points I had in the feats let's just have a look not the feats yeah the feats not the hands the feats down the bottom here yeah see there's lots of things I haven't unlocked but you can't unlock everything so you gotta be very particular you know like choose the things that you can unlock so there's a cleaver I think a sort of star metal cleaver is there not an acaronian cleaver so just talking no I think I was I think I was wrong there oh that's what I was looking at wait hang on a minute hang on a minute I just saw something and I freaked out <laughs> this that I unlocked wait what is it an ancient war axe I want to make that where are you war axe it's like the Lorax, only a Warax. See, this Acheronian stuff takes oil, and I've got a bunch of that, which is good. Hardened steel and shaped wood, which I've got. But dragon powder, I don't have. And to make dragon powder over here in the cauldron, we, we need, see I've been stocking up on all my bits and pieces. Can you tell I'm ready for war? <laughs> um, where is the dragon powder? Here it is. Okay, the dragon powder recipe has changed. It's not as simple as it used to be. I'm pretty sure it was simpler than this. Crystal. And demon blood now I have lots of demon blood here but I don't have any crystal I, I used it all to make those little lanterns uh, make a choice lanterns or dragon powder <laughs> and I chose drag um, uh, lanterns Ugh. hang on I need to fill this up with some more of this back okay I probably only needed to put one in there because I've got so much other stuff there we go turn that on so I've got grease orbs, I've got a demon fire orb and some gaseous orbs because we're going to go to war, <laughs> you know. Um, so yeah, I can't make the Acheronian stuff but I was going to try and see what I can do about the war axe. Let's have a look. Can we see it here? No. Oh, there it is. Okay, steel and branches. What? It seems so easy, and I didn't even—I probably don't even have any steel. No, wait, I probably do. Hang on a second. Steel? Yes, I have lots of steel. I've been busy, and I've had that steel for so long, I've forgotten that I had it <laughs> in branches. All right, let's put this back over here. Um, yes, I've been busy making iron reinforcements, and this ancient axe. What other ancient things are we've got the? pickaxe, the ancient kapesh, the ancient warhammer, this ancient bow, um, ancient warhammer, hmm, we need all the ancient stuff don't we, the ancient bow, <laughs> I think that's it, yeah the star metal stuff, I'm kind of over that now, got it, here we go, ancient axe, alright so, hang on, Okay, it's only, it's really, it's not very good. It's 66 damage, armor penetration 4%. But it's quick attack. Okay, hang on a second. Oh, that is quite quick. I mean, compared to the Black Ice Longsword, maybe? Pretty much the same. And the Black Ice Longsword is 121. I hate making beautiful weapons like this, and they're not ever using them because they're not strong enough for the things that I battle against but hey it's pretty look at it it's pretty punch myself in the face well what are they they've like got little hang on see if I can focus on them stop moving okay wait wait a second wait a second let's put it on here take that off and put that on oh hang on we've got to exit out of that again and then go in all right now can we see what's on it here we go they're like little worn symbols or something maybe I don't know I thought maybe that was like a mess like writing like ancient writing or something but no it says exceptional studded iron mace it's only 45 damage but it looks pretty cool look at that thing <laughs> you could knock someone out with that <laughs> it's epic 
One thing I don't like, and you won't know what I've got on my sword down there because it's glowing, it's because I've added um, something to it to make it uh, like an upgrade to it, but you'll never know because I don't know. <laughs> I also added one to the Kingslayer Polum. I think that, I think I know what that one actually, it was a blunt, the blunt, um, wait, I might be in here, hang on a sec, um, this one. The advanced blunted weapon feed fitting. A blunted fitting that can be applied to a weapon to increase concussive damage. So basically with with this thing, because it's already 118 health damage, you're gonna knock people out pretty well. I want this one. Oh, that's hard and steel. I just made a whole bunch. Oh, excuse me. Sorry, sorry, excuse me. Sorry, I got a bit close there. <laughs> um this, I've some hardened steel, so we can probably give him some hardened steel and see if we can make that and chuck it on another weapon. I don't know what other weapons I have actually that I could possibly use it on because I've already got one on there. So let's have a look. Is this these ones? I don't think so we've got two exceptional oh no that's an iron exceptional iron corsic, a normal iron corsic and a steel spear. They just look pretty. I don't know about you but they look pretty. I love the designs on the one in the middle. That's so that's so cute. Not cute. Um epic. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, what, have, what else have we got in here? We've got, oh, we've got a star metal sword. We could totally use that. That's 85. Oh, and a black ice broadsword, which is 121. Hey! Hey. Oh, that's 121 too. That was 118. Okay, now I get it. Right, cool. So what if I put that one on this one, and then I've got... I could probably leave this behind in case I die, and I need something to tide me over. <laughs> something to tide me over. <sighs> Let's go back here. What have we got in here? Okay, we've got this. Cool. Did it go up? No, it didn't. Armor penetration one. What? Hang on a minute. No, 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 no. Ah, 16. There we go. I was going to say, <laughs> what do you mean armor penetration one? It's, that's crazy. What's that one? 4%. Okay, what was the armor penetration on this one? 16. 16. Ah, oh, maybe. I don't think I put that on that one. Anyway. Uh, all right. So, what we're going to do today is we're going to go into... The Mounds of the Dead, we need to fix that. Um, I think I was making some advanced weapon... Um, what? Maybe it didn't make. Did it not make? I was sure I was making some of these. Hmm, maybe I didn't. <laughs> it was just my imagination. <laughs> anyway, well now I have... Oh, it's night time again. Damn it! Um, oh, what I want to do is want to make, make a preservation box because I have no way of preserving my food. But I did read somewhere, and sorry I can't tell you the, um, oops, hang on a second. Preserve this one. Um, we need hardened steel, shape wood, and black ice, which I can make. Um, there is something about the length of time it takes for a food to spoil if it's in a container. Uh, I can look it up for you and give you the details down in the description. Um, so like this grilled steak has probably been here a while, <laughs> but it's still here. I mean it's slowly, slowly um, deteriorating or going rotten, um, but it's been here a while. So apparently it lasts longer if you put it in a container. I think it doesn't last as long if you put it away. Those have been here forever. I've been around on the map since I put the, I've been around the map since I put those in there, so wow. Okay. <laughs> anyway, so in the state of stove, if you leave meat in there, it lasts longer. But that's kind of weird because I do remember leaving meat in the stove before and it not lasting. I don't know. Anyway, you'll find the details for those down in the description. Because I don't remember right now. But anyway, so I want to make a preservation box because I also like cooking and I've got lots of these recipes. I've got this. There's my cat meowing. I've got a Shemite Cook 3 in here, so he gives me honey jerky, which I've actually got to find the recipe for trail jerky, um, which I might find in the Mounds of the Dead. Um, also, there's iced tea. Oh, but then there's herbal tea, which I don't have. Probably found in the Mounds of the Dead. And then I've got over here this Hurricanian Cook, and he just gives me honey bread, honeyed eggs, and mystery meat soup, which is what this guy gives me. So, at least I've got some extra recipes. But a couple of episodes ago, I found some new ones. So things like bush jerky and what's the egg one? The oyster omelette. <laughs> Sounds so gross. But um, yeah, and mulled brew maybe. Hmm. A couple of cool episodes. I've been working on a tutorial about all the foods, but I need to go to the mounds of the dead first. So that's why we're going. All right. I need to make this preservation box. We need some ice. Wait, the ice is over here, I think. 
some ice. We need some hardened steel before it all goes away. Oh, I'm gonna put that in my my bar so I don't forget it. Uh, what else do we need now? Pres preservation box. Um, wood. Nope, not here. I'll have it somewhere. Nope, not here either. Nope. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Wait a second. Oh, here it was possibly. Okay. Ooh, I'm running low. Let's put this in here. And put this over here. Anyway, now let's make this preservation box. We're going to stick it down. Craft. We're going to stick it down and I don't know where we're going to put it. Maybe. You're in my way. I can't, I can't make it go away. I'm too scared to make it go away because it means... Okay, we'll have to put it here, I'm guessing, once it's finished. Yeah, one. We have to put it here. I really wanted to put it next to the things. Hmm. But if I take that out... Oh, no! Oh, how much was it? A hundred! No! <laughs> oh, well. Um, can I put it over that bump? Over that? Or is it going to tell me that I can't? It's probably going to tell me I can't. No. It's going to tell me I can go woohoo and then I can put that in there and those and all the foods in here yay they still oh I need ice <gasps> I don't have any ice I have black ice but I don't have ice wow you know what we have to do we're gonna have to go and get some ice I have to go get ice I can't just leave it there whoa 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 okay I need I need to put myself back on you go. sorry you have just have to look at me for a little bit longer I'm gonna go get some ice. Let's go. Unfortunately, I just realized that I didn't actually bring any drinks at all. <laughs> Did you notice? So I'm gonna have to try and find some ice because that will quench my thirst. It'll also make me really cold, but hopefully I can offset that with the steak and the absinthe. Always remember drinks. Usually berry pop, because that's the most effective in the cold. It doesn't make you cold. I even looked at my water skin and thought, nah, I'll just take berry pulp. Whatevs. <laughs> is that ice? Or black ice? It is ice. Okay, I was curious. I was like, looks. Then wasn't sure what it was at first. Ah, the snow. prettier when it's not raining doesn't it now we've got ice and the rest of the ice I'll just chuck back in here so we have some ice I also have this leavening agent because making bread is probably a cool thing except I need seeds for that and I went and put all my seeds in here because I was making meat um I was gonna make spiced meat did I end up making it or did I yeah now it's all gone so yeah anyway um now we have the black we have more black ice which is going to be great because i'll probably end up using that to make backup weapons and bits and pieces i'm going to get together a bunch of things i'm also going to make a tiny little hut down there so that i've got somewhere to respawn with a bed and i'm going to use this bed because i'm no longer bound to this one hopefully <laughs> and go upstairs and rebound myself to that one um but i'm gonna get a whole bunch of stuff together and i'll see you in the mounds of the dead Okay, so we're standing atop the hills looking over the Mounds of the Dead. My bases are just up there. And there are three, like, huts from here that you can see. There's one there, and there's one there, and there's another one over there. Um, and this one is a little harder to get to because it's on, on an island. And I guess that one you get to from going around. There's also a dragon's mouth somewhere around here, but I think I might get to that in a later episode. So we're going to go down there, and hopefully I don't get like seen by anybody and I can quickly make a base which reminds me I'm gonna put those in here that in there and it's got a few little building pieces just to quickly whip up something that I can hide in 
or res like put my bed down and, and respawn plus some like um, boxes and stuff and respawn in. So I also don't know how far back I'm able to build. That's going to be an issue. There's lots of wolves here, so we're going to be super careful. Hello. I guess we can try out the new weapons. Well, not the new weapons. They're not new. They're quite old. But um, oh look, somebody's already left there. Oh, it's me. All right. I'll set my spawn here. I must have been, I think I was looking for um, yellow lotus potion because I needed to reset my feet. Oh, hello. <laughs> Where are you? Hiding in the bushes, you are. Here you go. Taste my new sword. With something added to it, I don't even know what it is. Nobody else? Ooh, 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 there are some guards over there. Okay, we gotta be super. Building is not allowed. Really? Oh, oh. <laughs> he flew. Oh, I'm, I'm not doing anything to you. <laughs> wow, that's so cool. Look at that. <laughs> oh, poor dead doggy. Wait, let me just. You wanna make it? <laughs> so we can see what's happening here. <laughs> Oh, I lift you up <laughs> and drop you down. Whoa, <laughs> that's a little bit of fun there. All right, this looks like the perfect place. Okay, so I'm gonna just raise it up a little bit here, so I've got a little bit of a advantage. And oh, why can't you go on this side? You can't. You can. You can't. What can you do? Can't you do? Let me just. Um, where's my axe? Get rid of this guy. Resources that I probably won't use because <laughs> it's a little bit funny. <laughs> Just a little bit. Um, for the door over here. Is that out of face? Okay. Welcome back. I am currently suffering from heat stroke and I have no idea why. All I'm doing is I've put on um, uh, star metal armor. So I shouldn't be suffering this much from heat stroke if I've just done this. I'm going to go in the water and see if this helps. Are you going to help me? He just dives straight onto my weapon there. Oh, what is this? Why am I... Oh my gosh. This is ridiculous. I'm going to have to put on my other... other. <laughs> I've got no stamina either. Oh my gosh, this is such a bad start. I'm suffering from heat stroke. I haven't even gone into this place. This is ridiculous. And I don't have any water, so it's like I'm dying for no reason at all. This is completely ridiculous. <laughs> well, we're just gonna have to go. I think I guess drinking water is gonna help. Hang on a second, let's just get this guy. Oh, excuse me. What? I'm here. This this weapon is great. Whatever I did to it has really increased whatever it's doing to people. I don't know. Or to dogs. To wolves. Let's go and drink some. Oh, actually, it's working now. Look at that. Poor dead puppy. I don't just don't want to eat anything because that's going to heat me up, obviously. Um, so I didn't bring any water with me. Okay, so let's put that there and that. Let's put that there and put this here. Okay. So where is this first mound? The mound is just up here. So let's go for it. There's going to be people, not people, skeletons that are going to resist us somewhat chronic so we're gonna I'm going to have to be on watch but I want to get those recipes and the problem is that I don't actually know where they are I don't even know which thing they're in so we're gonna have to look we're gonna have to keep an eye out for anything that might show say hey I'm a recipe and you must discover me there's like nobody here there's everybody hello <laughs> knock knock Okay, well. Hello? 
I'm, if I'm calling, <laughs> I was like, nobody here. Where are all the chests? There's supposed to be chests and stuff around. Oh yeah, they all spawn in there. And they're probably spawning right about now, so we have to be careful. So here, there they are. Two of them at once. Wow. Well, don't want to die yet. No, 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 no. Oh my goodness. If we can, I guess we're going to try and climb over something. Are we regenerating? Yes, we are. Oh. Okay. <laughs> okay, we can do it this way. Sure! Nice one! Whoa, don't just be careful! Jeez, girl. Stamina, stamina, nobody's here. Quickly. Oops, oops. Okay, I want to get onto this thing. Can I get onto this thing? I feel like I'm such a wimp when it comes to this. Um, okay. Okay, recipe. Can we see like a little book somewhere? A chest? Anything. Ah, uh, there's a chest. Um, can I reach it from here? Yes, I can. A candle! Oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Alright. I had a bit of a problem there. Um, I went to loot this chest over here and then it decided to crash. The game decided to crash. So I have absolutely no idea if you guys saw the beginning of this bit. So anyway, I'm inside the very first hut, which is this one here, because I'm looking for recipes and I couldn't see any here. But then I realized, I noticed that there were these two. From standing up here on the cliffs, I could see these two. I didn't realize that there are all these ones over here. That's going to be for another day, I think, another episode. I'm going to actually just gonna head over to here because I think there's a little bridge across here, I think, if I remember rightly. So we should go over there. Where's the door? Because we have to find the door. Oh my gosh, I can't see it from here. Is it night time? It's nearly night time. Oh my gosh, okay. Well, let's just try and find our way out of here, shall we? Not here. Nope. There are weird noises right now. Oh my gosh. Wow. Let's just get out of here, guys. No, I can't even find the door and I died in here. Oh my god. This is going to be ridiculous. Getting out of here. I should just stay where I was. How are you supposed to do it with three of them? I should have stayed up there and shot them with arrows. That's what I'm going to do next time. Mm-hmm. Alright, so we're back here. It's killed by white. Alright, let's go rescue myself. Oh my gosh. Why the weather, guys? <laughs> Why the weather? I'm going to have to end it here, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Like, subscribe. In the next episode, we'll be going through the Mounds of the Dead, looking for the recipes that I need. But it's time up, so I'll have to end it here. We'll see you next time. Ciao, ciao.